hey, why is this video late? Well, consider that I am in college and I want to live a little bit. Okay, so that 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 is why you're uh, that is why this video is so late. Bruins lose three to two to the Philadelphia Flyers, and my God, what a boring game! Not gonna lie, this game was boring. It was, it was a low event game. It was a low event game. It was really low event game, and um, and and ultimately, it just felt like another game in which the Bruins could have broken out and uh, and done something uh, and done something effective, but they just kept getting in their own way. And to be fair, that wasn't entirely their fault. There was, uh, I mean, Philly's defense is a lot better than I initially thought. Their penalty kill is legitimately one of the best in the entire league. But uh, whew, that Tyson Forster. Uh, Forster Neon and uh, on Marchand, dude. The the refs got The refs need to be held accountable. The refs need to be fucking held accountable. You cannot have uh, a Neon knee be that blatant and have and then punish Marchand because he's complaining. <gasps> he has every right to complain. He has every right to complain about that. The man is thirty five years old. Old. Oh. Like it or not, uh, like and he has been skating on uh, on those knees for as long as uh, for as long as he can remember. Uh, they're kind of, they're kind of crucial to his uh, to his viability on the ice. They're crucial to anybody's viability on the ice. When that hit happened, Jack Edwards said uh, that that is a uh, that is a hit that ends careers. Uh, and for it to just go completely on uh, for to go completely unpenalized. Is and then to and then to give Marshan two in the box for uh, because he was uh, because he was complaining about it. What the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong with you, refs? That was that was disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. There's very little to to talk about the, at this game other than that Ty Tyson Forster or 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 Nate. There there's really nothing. There's really nothing. Like. Cool. Justin Brajo got a uh, Justin Brajo got a uh, got a goal, which makes him the first Bruins rookie since Brad Marchand in 2010-2011 to score three goals in three consecutive games. It is incredible how it is incredible how uh, how he has, has managed to become um, as cru as viable uh, to this roster as he as he has. Uh, also, thank you, Danton Heinen. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of my frustration with this game is partially because I told my friend to bet on uh, to bet on this uh, to bet for the Bruins on this game, and also bet for uh, and also bet for a Pasternak anytime goal. Dude, David Pasternak uh, going into this game had like 11 goals and eight assists in his last 10 against Philly. When you are when you are that good against one team. Mm, it it is kind of to be expected that you uh, that you fucking own that team. You are scoring over a goal a game against this team. And what has he done against? Uh, and what has he got done against this team? Him? Dude, the last time Pasternak went consecutive games without scoring a goal against Philly <sighs> was uh, was was April fourth, two thousand twenty-one. So the last game against Philly in the in the in the uh, in, the, uh, in the weird division in season, and uh, it was that game, and then uh, and then October tenth, two thousand twenty-one, the second episode of Into the Den to ever exist. That was the last time that the Bro uh, that the Bruins uh, played against Philadelphia, and David Pasternak did not have did not have. Uh, a goal against, against them in consecutive games. games. Now, granted, his two goal one uh, one assist is uh, his performance earlier this season and kind of makes up for it. But at the same time, like I didn't bet on that game. I didn't tell my friend to bet on that game. I told my friend to bet on this game, and it's and it did not work. It did not work. Unfortunately, <laughs> but. This game, this game, I mean, Travis Konechny, two goals, was, 
I mean, ultimately, this game was um, was just frustrating, especially because Allmark he had what uh, Allmark was playing the doors off of the thing. He was playing the doors off the thing. He was, he was stopping everything that he needed to, and then the very last, uh, and then the uh, and then that uh, last goal, that last goal. I think it was either, it was either Forster or it was Paling, or it was Ryan Paling. Thing. One of the two. The very last goal that he, he lets in, in is the is the one goal that you would want that that he would want to have back. Okay. That was the one goal in which he just ugh, not not entirely there. And also, I think that's a testament to uh, to the team in front of him. Come on, treat your goalies with more respect than this, please. Cause this is because this is kind of annoying. The fact that all of our offense just seems to dissipate on on a whim, on a whim. It is it is incredible how uh, how mediocre this offense is right now. And I really, really am not looking. I mean, I uh, I mean, I guess I'm looking forward to. Uh, to the last several games that we play. Also, by the way, uh, great job at wasting one of the last four. Uh, uh, great job at wasting one of the last uh, home games you have this uh, this season. You have three left. You have three left. And uh, and Tuesday night, you start a six game road streak. Six games. You gotta pull your shit together. You gotta pull your shit together, especially because, actually no, Phil. Actually no, no Philly was the first of these you know, his games on this you know, this road streak. But everybody else, Florida, Tampa, Washington, Nashville, Carolina. That's a murderer's row you got. That is a murderer's row if there ever or was one. And. And on top of that, when you come back home, um, um, for the two games you have, uh, you have here, uh, for the last, for two of the last three uh, that you have in Boston, Florida and Carolina. This is a murderer. This, I, I already said that it, that it was a murderer's row, but it is. Florida and Tampa uh, are all uh, are both uh, pretty comfortably in in. In playoff positions, Washington is is fighting for their playoff lives right now. Nashville, no, that team just went on a freaking fifteen game point streak, the longest in their entire in their entire franchise's existence. Carolina, Carolina, you know they you know they give you fits. It's this is a tough this is a tough last uh, last several games. You have 10 games left. 10 games left. Get it together. Get it together. I already used all yourself together er, er, earlier this season. This one is just... Get your shit together. Because this is not going to... This is not going to fly eh, come playoff time. There we go. Oh, uh, and that is going to eh, end it for tonight's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I'm sorry that this one was a little bit... Eh, was a little bit late again uh like i said i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to live a little bit uh, in college it's my last semester is this is my last semester and it's only now starting to hit me you know, that like you know i haven't really done much shit i haven't really fucked up much shit uh, in college and I kind of want to do, and I kind of want to eh, do that. Which is, eh, I mean, this entire month I've I've been eh, I've been going crazy. But eh, eh, you're you guys are just lucky that eh, that uh eh, that mo that most of what I do does not end up on eh, on a Bruins game day, or that it happens early enough to where I can then still make into the den and then eh, and then and do this shit. But uh. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Take care.